In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal a contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father for whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what it is, what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth, and to know that the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord and the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Amen. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I may consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Uh, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it was, were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. 
From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. On July 29, 1967, at 10.51 a.m. local time, off the coast of Vietnam, the accidental launch of a missile from an aircraft aboard the USS Forrestal started a fire that burned for 14 hours. The missile struck the fuel tank of the aircraft of Lieutenant Commander, later Senator, John McCain, who barely escaped his aircraft before the first thousand pound bomb exploded due to the heat of the fire. An additional nine, or nine 1,000 pound bombs would explode before the fire was brought under control. This fire took the lives of 134 crewmen and injured 161 others. The resulting damage of 200 compartments on the ship cost over $500 million in today's money. In addition, 21 aircraft were destroyed and 40 others sustained heavy damage. To this day, the video from the cameras on the deck and the control tower are used to train Navy personnel in firefighting. In my time in the Navy, I personally attended this training no less than four times and subsequently became an instructor for many of my other shipmates. Fire is a living, breathing entity requiring fuel, air, and heat to sustain itself. If you remove any of these three elements, the fire will go out. Fire possesses the ability to be both good and evil. It will destroy, but it can also sustain us. Fire is a divider, as it was that day on Forrestal. The firefighting teams lost communication and made many mistakes that day. At one point, they were actually defeating each other's efforts, and many ran headlong into the fire and were caught unaware by the bombs exploding on the deck. As I was preparing for this homily, I found two different interpretations of the fire spoken of in the gospel passage. The first is the fire started in our hearts by the word of God. The fuel of this fire is the word itself. The heat comes from within each of us as we study this word, and the air is the breath of the Holy Spirit. This idea spoke of division brought on by families or brought on in families because of belief or disbelief. I went on, it went on to say that this is a call to conversion and spoke of John the Baptist's words, I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. We all remember the story of the tongues of fire as the Holy Spirit came down to God's people at Pentecost. The second interpretation related the fire to the judgment that is to come. In this way, Jesus is putting a negative, or putting fire in a negative light. It's not about cooking or warmth. It's about danger, panic, destruction. The fuel for this fire is sin, the heat is the anger of God, and the air is the breath of judgment. This fire will also divide between believers and non-believers. This fire will consume those that freely choose not to follow God's commandments and the teachings of his church. The first interpretation, the fire of God's love can sustain us. This fire must remain burning in each of us. It's warmth and life are a beacon that will lead us to true, true joy and happiness in God's kingdom for eternity. 
The second will consume us if we lose sight of our goal. We have the tools to fight this fire. Through contrition and penance, we can remove the fuel of sin from the fire and reach our goal of true joy and happiness in God's kingdom. May Almighty God bless you this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family of faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illness, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. And for Father John Robinson, may he rest in peace, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, for the Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set aside our sister's hands, for the praise of the Lord's name, for our good and good of all to so the church. Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through be made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of Christ, bless you. Indeed, holy Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by coming down in your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. If she needs a ride in the rainstorm. Okay. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, but grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and verses to grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take the way of sin in the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take the way of sin in the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take the way of sin in the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age. Prepare for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Pray to St. Michael for our families. Holy Lord, our Lord, our Lord. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Holy Name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God.